one of the issues that uh, companies should now be mindful of as they address conflict minerals related issues is that you don't want your compliance with conflict minerals regulation to distract you from other industry and legal requirements. For instance, the transportation of hazardous materials. Some of the conflict minerals are known to be characterized as hazardous material. Are we aware of it and are we providing the proper education for all supply chain participants to make sure that we are not solving one problem by ignoring another that could be just as serious, if not even more serious. So it's important for OEM now to set the cadence and let the entire supply chain understand that yes, compliance with conflict minerals is above everything else you're doing. Just complying with conflict minerals regulation should not distract or prevent you from complying with everything else you've done. And AIG could be a great platform for doing that. If AIG can be the linkage between, say, its conflict minerals work group and the MMMOG work group, then that information can be shared across. The CFS program, for instance, has specific requirements for the transportation of hazardous materials, class seven. It's not always adhered to, and what AIG could help do is promote that education of, okay, it's conflict minerals, it's reporting because of the SEC rules, but also it's making sure that every other requirements, be it industry specific or legal specific, is being complied with. And I think AIG serving as either a platform or a loudspeaker on that topic will be very useful for uh, the strengthening of those tools we have in place now for conflict minerals compliance. And they can reach out to other companies within the supply chain. Case in point, GAM, Global Advanced Metals, can help provide more knowledge on the topic and how to go about ensuring that conflict minerals compliance is not a distraction from complying with other regulations.